Okay, whilst we're looking at digestion, let's look at the effect of lipase and how bile helps increase the efficiency. So, we're going to look at a practical with lipase, uh, an enzyme that is produced in the pancreas and in the small intestine. This will be the first time that any food that you've eaten will have uh, encountered lipase. And lipase digests lipids. And so a source of lipid that we're going to use today is milk. And as if by magic, here's the milk that we're going to use. So this experiment is called pink milk. What we're going to do is, we're going to take a look at this milk and see uh, the reaction as it breaks down using lipase. And so the other things that we're going to need for this experiment are here. We've got some sodium carbonate, which is just a buffer, so for the avoidance of doubt we know it's at the right pH. We've also got some bile salts, the type of solution that would be made by your liver, stored in your gallbladder and released by the bile duct into uh, your small intestines. And we've got some lipase here, so that uh, we can digest this lipid, this milk. We've also got an indicator called phenethylene. Now this is a tough word. Tough to pronounce and tough to spell. Now what this thing does is, it's, it's a clear solution as you can see, um, but in the presence of acid it's clear, and in the presence of alkali it goes pink. So if I add this to this milk, it will go pink. It will look like strawberry milkshake, but it's not. Do not drink it with the phenethylene in it. Okay, so I've added three centimeters cubed of milk to each one of these test tubes. We're going to add some lipase to the first one. We're going to add some bile to the second one. And then we're gonna add some lipase and bile to the third one. And we're gonna see which one reacts quickest and so I'm going to need a stop clock and also you might have noticed that we're going to be adding one thing to each of these and two to this one so to make up the difference in volume so that we've got a control we've got a fair test we've got the same volume for all three of them we're going to make up the volume of the two that we're only putting one thing into with distilled water Okay, now we need to add two centimeters cubed of sodium carbonate to each one to make sure that they're the right pH. And when you add the phenethylene, you'll see that it will go pink. Okay, so this milk is pink because it's got phenethylene in it, which goes pink in the presence of alkali. And when it changes, to being not pink anymore, then we know that it's become more acidic. Why? Because the lipase is breaking down the lipid, which is made of a glycerol molecule, and three fatty acid tails, and when they're bound together, it's alkali, but when those fatty acid tails are released, it becomes more acidic. There are more acids in solution, it becomes more acidic. And so what we want to do now is we want to add one centimetre cubed of lipase, to the first test tube and one centimeter cubed of distilled water as a control to make sure it's the same volume overall. Then we'll add one centimeter cubed of bile salts to the second one and one centimeter cubed of water, distilled water, to make sure that it's a control. And then the third one we'll add one centimeter cubed of lipase and one centimeter cubed of bile salts. And we'll get all of these on the go together and we'll see which one gets done first. And remember, as soon as we add the reagents, start the stop clock because the reaction could be happening. And now we can see the reaction is completely finished with the lipase on its own having caught up the lipase and the bile, but the bile on its own doing absolutely nothing. Now this is the reason for this is because lipase, as we've said, breaks down the lipid into glycerol and fatty acids, uh, but the bile emulsifies the lipid. It turns it into smaller droplets. So where there would have been one big droplet, there's now many smaller droplets. 
and what would have been in the centre of that droplet of lipid is now surface area for the lipase to start working. So that means that the lipase has more surface area, it has more opportunity to break down the lipids. The bile also helps with making sure it's the right pH and so it works at a much faster rate. So it emulsifies it and it gets it to the right pH. Whereas simply emulsifying the lipid, turning it into smaller bubbles, isn't actually digesting it. It's still the same, it's just in smaller bubbles. And so we can see that this experiment proves that one lipase breaks down the lipids into glycerol and fatty acids. Two, the effect of bile to emulsify it, increase the surface area and help increase the rate of digestion. And three, the bile on its own doesn't do a thing. Why not check out more of our videos or even our Cyber 60s for a shorter 60 second version. And if you found this Cyber Teachers video informative and helpful, why not click like and subscribe and we'll keep the Cyber Teachers content coming.